Okay, and the next example uh, is an application of rational inequalities using functions. Suppose that the daily average cost of manufacturing X bicycles is given by C of X bar. So that bar just means the average cost is equal to 90X plus 5,000 over X. How many bicycles must be produced each day in order for the average cost to be no more than $130? So we want the average cost, which is C of X bar, which is given to us right above, to be no more than $130. So no more than means it can't even be $130. It must be less than that. So it's strictly less than $130. So we need to find where C of X bar is less than $130. And notice the average cost is a rational function. So we're going to have to find when 90X plus 5,000 all over X is less than 130. Well, unfortunately, we can't go directly right into solving because zero must be on one side of the equation, so we'll have to move 130 over to the left side, and we'll get 90x plus 5,000 over x minus 130, less than zero. So now we have the zero, but we need to also find where our function is zero and undefined, and we can't really tell right here, so we're gonna have to combine these fractions by finding the LCD and subtracting numerators and keeping the denominator the same. And we can see our denominator here is a quite simple one. It's x. So we'll multiply top and bottom of the 130 by x. So that way we get 90x plus 5,000 minus 130x all over x less than 0. And then simplifying the numerator above, we would get 5,000 minus 40x all over x, less than 0. And now we can go ahead and begin the process. So now, where this function is 0 is where the numerator is 0. So this would be 5,000 minus 40x equal to 0, which means that 5,000 would equal 40x and x would be equal to 125. And where the function is undefined is where the denominator is 0. And this is simple. The denominator is x, so strictly when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 125, it, it, the average cost is 0. Um, when x is actually 0 itself, it is where the average cost is undefined. So graphing these two numbers on a number line, let's take 1 as a test value and let's do, I don't know, 200 as a test value. Now notice we're not taking any test values to the left of 0. Why? Well, x is the number of bicycles. So can bicycles be negative? No, so we don't even look because because the domain of this function has to be greater or equal to zero, we choose only numbers to the right. So taking these test values and plugging them in for x into the average cost, so when x equals 1, notice that you have 5,000 minus 40 times 1 over 1, which is a positive number, right? It's 4,960, which is positive. And then when x is 200, notice that 5,000 minus 40 times 200 over 200 will be negative 15, which is less than 0, a negative number. So notice that the number of bicycles that must be produced each day for the average cost to be no more than $130 would be any number of bicycles between 0 and, and 
125 bicycles. Now, because our inequality was strictly less than $130, we're going to use parentheses on our interval. So our solution will be from 0 to 125 and parentheses on both.